Hi, I'm Greg. Thanks for being here for another floor framing detail from the Trust Joist installation guide for floor and roof framing. Now, if you spend enough time on job sites, you're likely to run into a situation where there's a load bearing or shear wall that's above the floor system, and it needs to transfer the load or shear to the wall or foundation below. The B1 detail is applicable in these situations, and it uses blocking panels at intermediate bearing locations to transfer the loads. Now, you'll find that the only difference between the B1 and the B1W detail is the application of OSB web stiffeners to the TGI floor joists with the B1W detail. This detail uses web stiffeners on each side of the TGI joist web for increased bearing capacity when required. Be sure to pay particular attention to your drawings so you know when the B1W detail is needed. Let's take a look. First, cut the blocking panels to fit in the spacing between the floor joists. Blocking panels must be the same depth as the floor joists and can be either TGI joists or rim board material. Be sure that you don't use dimensional lumber for blocking panels because it can shrink and then it would not carry the loads as intended. You will want to toenail through the top flange of the TGI joists into the top flange of the blocking panel. Then, Simply toenail the blocking panel to the plate with two 10D nails. Now that's all there is to it. Now you know how to use the B1 detail for intermediate bearings with blocking panels to transfer the load through the floor and back down into the foundation. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video brought to you by Warehouser, manufacturer of trust joist engineered wood products. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series of floor framing details, which you'll find online at trustjoyce.com videos. You can also find more detailed information on floor framing in the Trust Joyce Guide for Floor and Roof Framing, which is available online or from your local representative.